when you're setting up your Jobo processor, make it sure you have the roller block in the correct place for your tank and set your temperature higher than the temperature you want. So let's go to about 41. Chemicals are already loaded and then we're going to fill the water bath. Get yourself one of these, it's just a, a, a plastic pipe attached to the tap here and using a combination of hot and cold water get yourself some nice warm water and approximately there we go, this is coming up to 40 degrees and that will be fine and now we're going to use this to fill Fill your water bath right up to the, these roller hinges here. About there, that's fine. The temperature of this is now about 42 degrees. And what we're going to do now is plug it in and turn it on. What we're going to do is we're going to heat the water bath up to just over 40 degrees and then gradually bring it down until we get the temperature right. A whole body of water cools much more quickly than it heats up. Bear in mind that this is designed to maintain the temperature. It's not designed to warm your chemicals and this is a problem that everybody faces with these machines, they approach it the wrong way. So we're going to heat it up to 40 degrees and then we're going to back it down. We what we're doing now is we're waiting for the first developer to reach 38 and a half to 39 degrees. We need the temperature to be higher by about half a degree because you'll lose the temperature in the rotation of the tank. We're looking for 38 degrees in the actual tank so our chemicals need to be slightly higher. Now as soon as this reaches 38 and a half we're then going to reduce the water bath temperature and we'll wait then until this stabilizes at the temperature we want by waiting for the whole body of water to cool down again rather than trying to warm it up it's much more accurate to catch it on the way down and then the processor will just hold the chemical at that temperature for you okay we're now at 38.2 it's only taken about three or four minutes to warm the chemicals up and our water bath, you won't be able to see this, but our water bath is currently at 41 degrees. So now we can let the machine start to do its job. So we put our tank on, we start the motor going, and now we're going to reduce the temperature. And we're going to leave it now, it could take 15 minutes and we're going to lay the temperature in here to stabilize what we want. It will carry on creeping up now and then it will cool down and the thermostat, if we get it set correctly, will hold it what we want, which is about that, 38.6. So we'll give it 10 minutes and see. We're now at 38 and a half degrees, which is exactly what we need to be. Basically, you nudge this down until it holds the temperature. I've put a little pencil mark on here. So the next time you come to process, you can 
set the temperature higher. Once the chemicals have reached about 38 degrees, they've warmed up, then move it back to that mark, leave it, and it will then stabilize at that temperature, and you're ready to go. So at this point, we're now ready to start processing. 